we are right here in uh, Ukraine in Chernitsi. Uh My parents and my sisters at home uh, they help send the food to Kharkiv to Mykolaiv and I think and to Donetsk region. Uh, we they need the supplies. It's easier to get there on private uh, vans. It's it gets faster to people than if you send with Red Cross or other uh, organizations. Uh, because of the documentation, right? That, so they have to show yes. a lot of papers and they have to yes. organize it. So and it, it takes... and it takes like lots and lots of time, and time is short. And people need food. People live in uh, I don't know in bombed areas with uh, no access to supermarkets or any other like some don't even have uh, drinking water and uh, also what is also part of uh, what should be like uh, brought here uh, yeah probably um, and what do you think what is the most important thing so, so medicine the, i understand yes, medicine uh, for sure me medical supplies first aid kits and uh, food like cans with food food that can be uh, eaten without preparing it because they might not have gas they might not have electricity they need to open a can and eat it or just heat some water make a soup with the cans content and some of them can make bread or can you know, make rice mm -hmm. so we send uh, flour uh, pasta rice Mm -hmm. uh, sugar and lots of cans everything that's in a can you can send bread because it can get bad by the time it gets to another part of ukraine but we send flour so whoever can make bread will mm -hmm. make it and we send cans of food and uh, besides the food what do you think is uh, also important right now maybe uh, there's anything else medical supplies people don't have uh, analgesics i think that's what they are called, like a pain, uh, pain, pain killers. killers. They don't have painkillers, and they don't have first aid kits like mm -hmm. that to uh, to put something on a wound. Is there anything else? Do you think also clothes are important, or is it uh, like clothes, uh, or, or is it uh, because I heard so somebody told me that there there are already a lot of clothes, so I don't uh, know how important it is. Clothes are needed in areas where refugees come because let's say somebody lives Kharkiv their apartment was bombed they live just with clothes they they have on them they live with nothing uh, if they can grab their passports that's great some of them don't even have that mm -hmm. they come here and we need to uh, close them so my sisters just the first days they just opened their uh, drawers and they're like what's your size I you wear my size, I'll give you my uh, whatever, my blouse or <laughs> what I have in yeah. my uh, drawers. And mm -hmm. uh, then we we ask for clothes, but it, they need it in Western Ukraine where refugees come from the east, from the bombed areas. Mm -hmm. Because if you send clothes there, they will probably leave tomorrow or like get bombed and is destroyed. But, but what, you, but what, what, what do you think? What is the most important? So medicine or food? Or like both, a combination? Both, combination both, of them, right? Both are needed because okay. I, I've seen even like doctors operate and tell people, please hold on. I know it's painful, but we have no painkillers to give so you. So painkillers are number one. What yes, is needed and, right now? And the... I think also cold medicine. Okay. Because uh, people live in uh, Padval. Uh, in the... It's not dungeon. It's uh, what is it called? Um, <laughs> like uh, yeah, um, <laughs> Anyways. In Keller. In, yeah. In, 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 in German, Ke but in, in yeah. Keller. Yeah, people are living in Keller, so uh, I don't know how, how you call it. And uh, they catch cold so fast because it's cold down there. Underground surrounding. Yeah, it, it's cold, <laughs> and some even have kids and they didn't leave soon enough to be able to live with like evacuation convoys and they stay there they need they somebody calls the church and like can you give me some I don't know, cold medicine for kids and like churches we don't have any and you can't buy them in uh, pharmacies anymore 
-hmm. They don't sell anything. E even what I, what is cold medicine? Because I don't know what what, what is it. Is it cold. a co co cold uh, like paracetamol or ah, okay, like, uh, stuff like that? Mm -hmm. I got you. For mm -hmm. cough, for flu. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, could you tell also the how many family members you are? It's really uh, interesting. Thirteen. Actually. My my parents <coughs> have thirteen kids. But well, guys, certain oh, kids have a family, okay? Tw so there are a us? lot of people actually, and they uh, get sometimes forty people in the house. Yeah, but yeah, not all of us live here. Like twelve of us are like grown ups already. I live in Bucharest uh, with some of uh, with a sister, and we have a fifteen years old brother. He lives in Bucharest right now with me. He's studying there. Uh, he came in uh, last. September to Bucharest, he moved there, mm. and we have fifteen nieces and nephews, and, and, and you have eight also, of them are in Bucharest right now. We right, took them there. Right, and you have your, fa your father was driving all the time to Donetsk. Yes, to, to help. Uh, like since I, the war in Donbas started in uh, twenty fourteen, and my father started helping there since twenty seventeen I suppose I'm not sure exactly so he when was he bringing, started. Uh, like... And he uh, was bringing uh, aid there and food to Donetsk areas for a long time. He in twenty twenty one he went there thirteen or fourteen times and it takes a week to drive there and come back. Okay. He well. usually drove like on his uh, with his car with a trailer. Uh, and right now with my parents uh, are staying a, a pastor's family from that area mm -hmm. and uh, the pastor like his wife and kids are here and he drives back and forth he drives to uh, Drushkivka a town in Donetsk region and he brings uh, he brings food there because churches there also help people who are still in the area and he, yeah, he's been there eight times since the war started in four weeks. And he brings back people who want to to leave, to mm. leave, yeah, to get mm. to the West. Wow, great! Thank you. Yeah.